My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. Showcase Sundays today on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that all children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Good morning and welcome everyone to the Sonic Society, the world's largest showcase of modern audio theater. I'm Jack Ward, back here with David Alt, who, as the host, makes me the parasite. David, <laughs> how hails the weather in merry old England? Uh, hail is is actually the order of the day, really. Um, <laughs> no. So uh, over the last week, we have had summer temperatures, uh, so sort of 20 to 23 degrees, which is uh, the 80s, fa- no, 70s Fahrenheit for our American listeners. 70s? Oh, 70s. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't know. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> These strange systems. <laughs> Um, That's right. And then, and then we've just plunged into uh, northerly winds, frost, uh, and hail and snow. And in fact, last night um, it was it was snowing. Oh my! Goodness. After a wonderfully nice, warm April morning, it suddenly went. You know what we really need now? Let's have some crystalline water fall from the sky. <laughs> so. <laughs> As you're speaking, I can see you standing above a weatherboard and doing this. You know, David Alt, the weatherman. I can see that. That's great. You see, the trouble, the trouble also is, though, that um, when we decide to do snow and hail, and, and, and especially in, in April, where it, we, you can have all four seasons in a day, Yes. It means that we don't get any kind of buildup of any kind of snow. I, I, I remember 10 years ago, 11 years ago, when I was over um, in Canada, hearing stories of 10-foot snow drifts. And I think, well, you know, two inches here is a lot when it comes to snow. <laughs> so 10 foot just doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, the old phrase here in Nova Scotia is, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. Yeah, we, we have got the same. <laughs> Absolutely. Because the temperature, it can be either hot or cold, depending on uh, the flip of a coin. (laughs) There you go. Well, doesn't matter because life here in the Mutual Audio Network is always in the perfect temperature for the RSS feeds to grow. And what better way than to listen to a historical audio drama? Oh, yes. The Roman Empire is falling apart. And as the tyrannical reign of Tiberius Caesar comes to an end, his adopted nephew Gaius steps into the breach. Guided by his beloved sister Drusilla, Gaius seems poised to get Rome back on track until his mind begins to break. Surrounded by ambitious Praetorians, vicious siblings, and stubborn senators, Gaius descends into a madness beyond even his own reckoning. It's part one of Little Boots, and it all begins right here. On the Sonic Society, I'm so excited. (laughs) I I usually get to say that bit. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. It's a cock, isn't it? Oh, Drusilla. It is, yes. It's, um, Grandad's own. Hmm. 
It'll fetch a high price at market, I'm sure. It's a special one. How's that? Oh, it's the only one he doesn't use for, uh, sex. Fascinating. Should I ask what he does use it for? I, I don't know. He lets me use it on the boys, but he still doesn't like me. Why ever not? He thinks I'm useless. Says I remind him of my mother. Well, you are useless. Well, I haven't poisoned anyone yet. You'll learn. This island is a prison. I'd rather be here than in Rome. Bunch of ravenous vultures Vulture scavenging. Vultures scavenging, yes. I've heard him as well, Gamellus. It doesn't get any less tiresome hearing it from someone else. Don't be too attentive to him. He's just a crude old man clinging to his youth. It's disgusting. Have you no fear, Drusilla? I have nothing to fear from decay. Hello, Gaius. Tiberius is coming. He's in one of his moods. We shall receive him with the respect he is due. I, I, I wasn't here. <sighs> I've never seen such a weasel in all my life. He won't last long when the old man dies. They'll tear him apart. He's his grandson. It won't matter. He'll pick me. You'll see. Hmm. So self-assured. Someone has to be. Don't be brash, Gaius. You know Drusilla, who... please. Another year won't kill us. Drusus, my brother, I am here. Like the walking catastrophe. Quiet. I rode day and night to watch him die. Drusus, you'll never see his like again upon this earth, I assure you. Never again. Ah, the child's boots and the sister whore who wears them. Together as ever, family bonding, is it? You're looking well, Caesar. I look like shit, rolled up shit. Any fool could see that. Are you a fool? I don't think so. <laughs> Only a fool would think. Come, Drusilla, tell me that the great tide of human enterprise has not yet wrecked itself on the shore of progress. I don't know what you mean, Lord. No, oh, women never do. They are cruel and poison their lovers. My philosophy is lost on you and your kind. Oh, what I wouldn't give for an army again. One that won't betray me. One I could lead. The armies of Rome are at your disposal, uncle. They are in the bosom of the Praetorian scum. If Drusus were here, he would know what to do. He would counsel me. But he's not here. I remain. You don't remind me of him at all. Of Drusus, Lord? It is most discomforting. Who do you mean? Your father. Did you know him while he lived? Hardly, Lord. No, of course. The sons of soldiers seldom do. He was the image of Drusus, you know. Oh, listen to me, boring the youth with the memory of the dead. Let's have a story. Young people like those. Are we comfortable? Good. Now. And off the catastrophe goes. He doesn't have long left. I'm not convinced. That's time enough to secure the future of his successor. How do you propose that? I'll frame it to you how you should frame it in Rome. You're the son of Germanicus. Own it! You, Gaius, are the last remaining testament of a conquering hero robbed from the people by our incumbent. I told them to drink the Tiber! You, in whose blood flows the lineage of heroes, have returned to take the wheel and lead the Republic into a glorious golden future. It writes itself. You'll be in the prime position to rule. Tiberius knows this. What's the problem, then? With all respect, 
You have no experience in the matters of the state. You've been raised among soldiers, eastern chiefs, hedonism, hardly encouraging traits for an heir apparent. Where are you going with this, Macro? Next to Tiberius, I'm the most powerful man in the Empire. I can open doors for you that no one else can. What will I receive in turn? Service. Marvellous. <laughs> Speaking of service, what do you reckon Enya is up to? We'll take you up on it. Your faith will not be misplaced. I trust it won't. For your sake. Hail Caesar! Hail yourself, you little shit. I have a story to tell to the great successor. Do you know the story of Faith and Caligula? Only what I've read. And what have you read? That he yoked the horses of Phoebus and nearly brought the world to ruin uh, in a... Nearly brought the world to ruin in a fiery cataclysm and was stricken by the bolts of Jupiter. Yes, yes. What is the meaning of this story? It tells us to take heed of willful arrogance. Hmm. Close. No. The answer is you only live once. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since I was in Rome. How long has it been? Too long to care and not long enough to miss it. A hive of sordid vipers spitting at the throne. That's what Rome is. The Senate frets and howls like cattle at a crossing. They are vain and they are cruel and they want me dead. I will not die for the whims of beasts like them. The Senate only wishes for you to live. <laughs> Do they bollocks? Come, when have you been privy to that mob, eh? Do not lie to my face, boy. I am not a fool. I may be old and broken down, but I am not, I am not a fool. I fester and rot on this spit of witches and outcasts and freaks because I choose to. These are my people. I am among them as a phantom among the living, and that is freedom. You talk as though you were already dead. <laughs> Death takes time, and I have plenty. Phaethon was the son of Phoebus, you know. The son of the sun, a god's own child. He wished to ride Phoebus' chariot around the world for a day. And, in doing so, almost burned the earth to dust. You see how it goes. I'm not sure I follow. You give a man enough rope, he will hang us all. Phaethon died. Hmm. He died. In his grief, Phoebus refused to ride the sun around the world. So it goes. I am naming you my adopted son and heir, Gaius. Oh. Thank you, Caesar. Gamellus hasn't the stomach or the wit, but you... <laughs> what is it, uncle? You, my son, will burn the world to cinders. You will be my Phaethon. You will be the venom among the vipers. You will live forever first. Immortality. The boy wants immortality. You'd foist eternity on a rancid old boil shivering in a pool, surrounded by pilfered youth. He mocks me, Drusilla. I didn't mean offence, Uncle. I merely wish. He does to not just... mock you, Caesar. He speaks the will of the Senate. If I wanted you to speak, girl, I would demand it. The Senate. <laughs> Again with the Senate. They'd have me in the Tiber by noon, should I return. To the Tiber with Tiberius, they'd say. Rome is a womb of lies. My spit has more constitution than they do. <laughs> Caligula! Yes, Caesar? Clean that up. Your knees need a good chafe. 
The flesh of my flesh. Come to me, boy, and look upon your brother's crawling. Hello, guys. Gemellus. Call him by his true name, Gemellus. Hello, Caligula. Oh, how I have missed fraternity in my old age. The joys of youth. Never more for me. I am gone. At least the sea is mine, eh? <laughs> Waves all around. Never again. You, girl with all the answers, speak. What will become of me when I am dead? Apotheosis, Lord. You will be a god, as Julius and Augustus are. Hmm, pretty answer from a worthless brain. A god of what? Barbarian provinces? A god of piss and wishes? What? I'm not an oracle. No, you are not an oracle. Don't pretend to be. It insults me. I wasn't aware you were so averse to insult, Caesar. You insult me with that very word. All of you. Caesar. A fiction. Slaves wouldn't scrub that word off the wall with their shit. It is the means by which you rule. What do I rule? Rome. And therefore, the world. And therefore, all things. Not unlike a god. Hmm, he is a gift for logic, this one. He is a good Roman. And therefore, a bad person. A logician and a comedian. But the fool speaks true. So much to admire in our future emperor. Come, my children, the Lord of Capri retires to his chamber. There he might have the fortune of passing in his sleep. Come, Gamellus. I will return shortly. He wants me dead. Oh, it's impossible to tell what the old man wants. He's beyond help. He will kill me so Gamellus may reign. What happened to all your bluster? I see it in his eyes. He'll kill me. Not as I live and breathe. Come on, little boots, let's go. Don't call me that. Oh, grow up. He could order your execution at any moment, and yet he doesn't. The fits of an obscene old man are beyond me. Be thankful, then, and stay on his good side. He is wearisome. And ancient, yes. But it is to our advantage. Patience, Gaius. I'll make you empress. They won't allow it. That gang of sycophants in the Senate will grovel for anyone who makes enough of a fuss. <laughs> they still heed him for all their carping. We'll see. I'm going to bed. I won't wait up for you. I know what your head's like. Good night. Good night. Gaius Germanicus Caesar. The will of the people and the thrall of the Senate. If Caesar rules the world, there should be no advocate to the contrary. What use is a hall of prattling demagogues when an emperor wields absolute power? If Tiberius wished a man dead, that man would die. <laughs> but why stop there? If he wished all men dead, all men would die. A logical progression. <laughs> if you're going to vince around and practice your logic puzzles all night, then I don't know what to do with you. Leave me be. Fine. Play at wisdom with your pedantry all you like. It isn't pedantry. She thinks I'm absurd. I'm not. She thinks me a fool. He thinks me a snake. I'll prove them wrong. The lord of the world is all things under the sun. Tiberius will kill me. I know it. 
He need only say the word. <laughs> I'm afraid of a broken old man. An old man limping towards death, drunk on disease. He is everything I hate. And yet, I must love him. I'm getting thin. Maybe I'll go like mother after all, slowly starving in an island prison. I will not die here. Ceaseless hammering. Caligula! Yes, Uncle. I am launching the moon, boy. Come ride with me, and I will take you to the sky. Ride the chariots of the sun. Chase the moon away. <laughs> my little Hydra. <laughs> I am nursing you at my breast. Come, suckle. Come here, I say. Now, suckle. No, Uncle. You will do as I say, or you will die, lizard. No. Then you will die. You will fall from heaven in a blaze of lightning at the hands of a god. Uh, uh, Grandad, please, you don't have to. <laughs> what do you see, old man? The end of Rome. And the end of all things. <laughs> So passes Tiberius, Emperor of Rome. Gaius? Let us begin the succession. Gamellus, send the word. Caesar is dead. I am yet to see. I am foam and spit and fish in metamorphosis. <laughs> Help him, one of you, please. They called him Octavian, the boy that would be We must off. act now. They called him Maco, Maco, we need to help. What are you doing? Are you... No, let go of it. We have to get help. Someone, someone help! Anyone? Hello? Can anyone Here. hear me? You will not silence the sea boy. Now what? Succession. Caesar. <laughs> Please. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. We have to get help. We have to get help. Everything to get... is going to be fine.
So that's it then. He's just gonna waltz into government just like that. A thing like that with the head of state. Tiberius willed it. Oh, Tiberius, nothing. This was your doing. You have condemned us all. I have only secured our future, Lucius. Oh, hush, father. But let's not be hasty. You've only heard rumours of Gaius and Capri. It was all fluff, isn't it? He's willful, yes. He can be cruel, certainly. But no more than most. He's no monster, I assure you. You can scheme all you want with your awful puppet. I will play no part in this farce. <laughs> you are too much. That's what the Sybil said. I'm not lying. Speaking of farce... Hmm. And what did the precious Sybil say? It doesn't matter. Apparently, she told him that he'd become... A tongue-tied boar? Hmm. Let us hope she said the creature would take ill and spare us. That's treason, Lucius. I will not live through this. You shan't with talk like that. Enough. He is the death of us all. We survived Tiberius. He was a broken man, but at least he was shrewd. Caligula is young and brazen and does not know the meaning of the word no. He will take and scrape and demand. He is a despot and he will ruin us all. Tiberius was a mercy compared to this. He at least understood the apparatus of the state. This beast does not. He was raised amongst debauchery by ageing vultures. He has no understanding of what it means to govern. I may be old, but here's my oath. I swear by Jupiter that I will not allow... Such a lovely morning. Isn't it just? Well, go on, Lucius. You were saying... Caesar, forgive me. Nonsense, please. Continue. He doesn't know what he's saying, Caius. Please, ignore him. Please, Caesar. Oaths are made to be sworn, are they not? Well? Yes, Lord. To her, darling, not to me. Yes, lady. Swear your oath, then. Finish what you started. You swear, hmm, that you will not allow... I swear that I will not allow... Now get up. Stop embarrassing yourself. <laughs> People should always say what they mean, dear. Withholding one's true feelings makes a mockery of us all. It's dishonesty that kills the soul. And what are we if we are soulless, hmm? Nothing. Precisely. Celebration. Ah, yes. <laughs> Come. Today is a cause for celebration. A new leader must know clemency, so here is mine. I do not know what your oath would have been, neither do I care, but I give you a new one. Repeat this. I will not value my life or that of my children less highly than I do the safety of the Emperor and his sisters. I will not value my life, or that. Or that of my children. Or that of my children, less highly than I do the safety of the Emperor. And? And his sisters. Wonderful. You may go now, Lucius. Honour my mercy well. You will come to know me in good time. Lucius, I am not like Tiberius. Remember that. Pfft. <sighs> <sighs>
Your head. My head. Hmm. Where is Agrippina? She wasn't at the ceremony. She was delayed, I'm told. This is how she sees us. I know. It doesn't matter. She doesn't matter. Macro? Yes, Caesar? Bring Gamellus in. Yes, Caesar. That meek little slip is in Rome. He's the baggage we must drag along with us. It's written in the old man's will. You are emperor now, Gaius. Mm, well spotted, uncle. The will was written by a man unsound of mind. That much is clear. Therefore, it will be disregarded with immediate effect. That is wisdom. It is logic. Rome has been without logic for too long. Indeed. Would you help lay the table, uncle? Excuse me? Lay the table, uncle. Oh, with respect, Caesar, the slaves... A slave is a subject. A consul is a subject. I expect a subject to follow the emperor's instruction. Lay the table, uncle. Messalina, you will help. Enya. Yes, my lady. Bring us some wine. Ah, the boy wonder has come among us. I had hoped to see you at the ceremony, Gamellus. Where were you? He says he took ill in the palace. He expresses his apologies. Macro, shush. Let the boy speak for himself. It's the least he can do. I apologise, Caesar. I've, uh... (coughs) developed a chronic cough. The doctors have given me medicine to (coughs) stave it off, but I'm not well. They told me not to leave my room. How unfortunate. It's a good thing you're here to eat with us, then. Uncle, Messalina, bring in the food. It has been prepared, I trust. Have a seat at the head of the table, Gemellus. It's only fitting for the Emperor's adopted heir. Come. Macro, where is your wife? We want our wine. Apologies, Caesar. Here is the wine. Marvellous. Is there anything else I can do? You may leave. What? You may leave. Thank you for the food. Such wonderful subjects we have. (laughs) Let's eat, shall we? You can both go, thank you. As you wish. No, Uncle. You can stay. You're beginning to sound like your grandfather with all that coughing, Gamellus. Drink up. Wine will do you some good. I'm not thirsty. Why so reluctant, Lord? I'm just not thirsty. (coughs) I don't really like wine. You're not a very good Roman if you don't like wine. (laughs) uh, I never have. You drank wine at Capri. I saw you. uh, Only because Grandad ordered me to. We are ordering you to. Please, Gamellus, drink up. Unless there's some other reason you're not drinking, of course. But what other reason would I have? (coughs) I just don't like wine. Macro. Yes, Caesar? Smell his breath. Yes, Caesar. What, what, What was this? The Emperor is merely curious, Lord. You've been very hesitant ever since I escorted you here. He only uh, wants some peace of mind. Uh, uh, 
It is as you suspected, Caesar. <sighs> I'm disappointed in you, Gamelus. What, what, what do you mean? What's going on? You have taken an antidote. What? <coughs> I didn't even know I'd be here. What are you... If you've taken an antidote, Gamellus, it stands to reason that you are expecting to be poisoned. That is tantamount to accusing me of murder. That is treason. No, 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 no. Listen, if there's anything on my breath, it's it's the medicine I've been taking for my cough. It's... <coughs> antidote at all. There's been a huge misunderstanding. You still haven't touched your wine. <coughs> what? If you would only drink the wine, you would see that it is not poisoned. I, I know it isn't poisoned. I know it isn't. Then why did you hesitate if you knew it wasn't poisoned? But I, I just don't like wine. You said yourself that you drank wine at Capri. Are you lying? Uh, yes, because I... No, no, I'm not lying. I swear, I swear. <coughs> I haven't taken any antidote. It's just medicine. That's all it is. I'm telling you. Macro. Uh, what are you... Uh... It's poison. <coughs> Is it poison? No, it isn't. If only you'd listened to me. Macro, take him no, away. No, 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 please, please. He is to be executed on the grounds of high treason. Do him a kindness and make it quick. Guys, please, no, please, don't do this. Don't do this. Enough, Gamellus. You have proven to be a peerless disappointment. <laughs> I could smell it from the other side of the room. You may leave, Uncle. You will serve as witness. Very well. I will report it at the next hearing. No, we can't wait that long. Call them here, the most prominent ones. Tomorrow. This news must be delivered with haste. You are sure? The new heir must also be proclaimed. Very well. By your leave. What's wrong? My head. Ceaseless hammering. You've hardly slept. You're right. It's exhausting. You're getting a fever. It will pass. It's all this travel. You're not used to it. I hope Macro does make it quick. You will. It was an antidote. You know that? I do. Yes. All is well in time. The Senate must be addressed. I've dedicated everything I have to this city, and yet this king 
this king of vermin, this cretin, he swans into Rome and treats me like cattle in front of my own daughter. At least you're alive, Lucius. I've been humiliated. Only if you insist on parading it to the world. What else am I to do, Collins? Let it pass. How have you lived so long and learned so little? It's not wisdom that I lack. Evidently. It doesn't matter. You won't laugh. <coughs> You'll see. The boy certainly didn't. Eh? Haven't you heard? Heard what? You'll see. He's coming. Get ready. What, what's happened, Quintus? Just wait. He's looking ill, you know. Oh, so I heard. It's the Roman air. Full of shit. Gentlemen, how are we all? <coughs> Wonderful. Now, to address certain issues that have cropped up in the past few days. Uh, forgive the flippancy. My father always taught me to be jovial in the face of death. You see, <coughs> I was raised in conflict. I was brought to heel on the steppes of Syria, surrounded by men of war. I have seen the face of death, and I... Well, <coughs> I'm no Cicero. I'll keep it brief. Gemellus tried to kill me and has been executed for treason. That's it? The boy's dead? He tried to poison my food. My wisdom in choosing an heir was evidently lacking. Without consultation? No trial was necessary. The consul was there, as were myself and Drusilla. The cancer at the heart of our Republic has been smothered. Tiberius' taint is erased. Nothing remains. This is how your reign begins? With justice, yes. You call this justice? Justice is the backbone of the Republic. The balance of her scales is paramount. None of the honourable gentlemen would argue otherwise, I am certain. Would you have a traitor live to stain the law of our ancestors? <laughs> Where would we be if not for them? Crawling for scraps from the table at Carthage. Gamellus had to die, lest we shame our heritage. Nevertheless, a trial should have been called. There are witnesses, and Caesar's word. Doubt neither. No mercy for children. Mercy is a weakness we cannot afford. Will we not hear from the Emperor instead of his sister? Remember your oath, Lucius. Oath or no, you are a Caesar. The Senate would hear from you. You will hear his chosen heir. I, I don't follow. Drusilla will succeed me. <laughs> It is my decree. This is a travesty. Watch your Caesar speak. You will all listen to Caesar. Friends, it's already come. To celebrate the end of tyranny, the treasury shall open. Taxes will be lifted. Games will be held. The wounds of the innocent will be salved. We will march together toward the future. The meeting, friends, is adjourned. How you placate them? 
This is how you address their concerns? It is appropriate. Do you know how Tiberius survived as long as he did? He isolated himself. He wasted away on an island where no one could get to him. You cannot afford to antagonize them. These are dangerous men. I am more dangerous than any of them. One man is only enough against so many. Leave us, Macro. And you! Leave! You can't even see what you're doing! Macro! As you wish. Come on. Did I cock it up? It went about as well as anticipated. Oh, well. It might have helped to sucker them in a bit. I don't care what they think. What did I miss? Aggie! Only your brother's inauguration. Nothing special. This is how you greet him. Terrible business with Gemellus. I hope you're proud of yourself. You, of all people, have no right to talk about... Do you about know it? what I've been through while you've been swanning around in that cesspit off the shore? Capri was no paradise. You think Rome was? Agrippina, please. Where were you when I was given away to a beast? Where was Tiberius' favourite when I was fleeing his purges? I have had to fight and claw my way through life like a savage while you fed that bloated old bastard grapes on a platter. I don't know what you... Forgive me if I missed your precious ritual. Forgive me if I missed the Senate's sycophancy. You know what I haven't missed, though? The people. <laughs> They're a bloody hoot. They see our father in you. Can you imagine? That's why they love you. They'll learn what you are, what both of you are. Let's not mar our reunion with bitterness. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. We've lived a lie for ten long years. Any false move, any hint of sedition, we'd have been crucified. Now we are free. Free, he says. Gaius is unopposed. The only obstacle to his supremacy has been removed. The world is ours. And what a world it is, with such a thing in it. I'm glad your humour is unchanged. I, however, must retire. My head is going to explode. Fleeing like always. Another time, Aggie. Good riddance. I'd ask how you are, but you've made that abundantly clear. Am I wrong to call attention to injustice? What blights have you suffered, sister? What persecutions have you endured? What tyranny have you faced? I have been denied the dues of my blood. You were always too attentive to Livia's poison. And now it has become you. She protected me when all else abandoned me. Pure indoctrination. She saw the world for what it is. To live... To truly live, you must take what you can get, spare no expense, never compromise, never concede. And look where it's gotten you. Spouting tired aphorisms on too much wine. Concession is the poison, Drusilla. Where is your pride? What good is pride in the face of death? I've never denied our family name. I had the sense to hide its clout. You should be ashamed. What remains of our name? Ashes in urns on an island for exiles. They starved while you ponced around Capri. I'd rather have comfort in life than pride in death. Where you see comfort, I see complacency. You may be content to dote and simper. I am not. Then why did you even come here? You are my sister, and Gaius is my brother. <laughs> why are you really here? It isn't filial obligation. Was it just to ingratiate yourself with Gaius? He's already made the Senate swear that ridiculous oath and they actually did it. What else could you want? <laughs> he could make them bleat if he wanted to. What could be funnier than that? <laughs> the useless ships. You can tell me. Whatever it is, I'll see to its solution. Even with our differences, we still love you.
and nothing will change that. Let me help you. Please, Aggie. We're in debt. Severe debt. Okay. I'm serious. What happened to Domitius's money? He's loaded. Plenty of connections. What's the problem? It's all gone, Julia. He's thrown it all away. The whole fucking estate gone. Slaves, mansions, all gone. I can't believe this. It's not just the money. Domitius, he... Look, I wouldn't ask if... If what? Don't flip out. I won't flip out. Just tell me. I'm pregnant. Oh, for fuck's sake. I always thought I'd managed to catch it between my thighs, but... Oh, please don't. Not. I don't want to hear it. Listen to me. Even if nothing born of our marriage could benefit the state, we need money to raise the child. Then give the thing away. We're desperate. You are straining my sympathy. Not a moment ago, you were saying... That I would help you, yes. I just didn't think it would be something so base. As if the walkabout is lecturing me on conduct. Don't test me, Agrippina. I warn oh, you. Oh, she I... plays at piety. As if all of Rome hasn't heard the tale of Drusilla the sister whore sucking off her lord brother. <laughs> I will appeal to Gaius on your behalf. He will be sympathetic. You'll get your money. Drusilla, I'm Don't sorry. Don't speak. I'm just frustrated. I, I did go. I heard shouting. It's all right, love. Our sister was just leaving. What were you talking about? I'll tell you about it later. Come on. You need to rest. Does Aggie need money? Later. I'll outlaw shouting. It's unbecoming. <laughs> You're a funny one. Come on, we need to talk about you getting married. I'm marrying you. We've been through this. The Senate won't allow it. We're pushing them enough with the succession. Julia Drusilla Caesar. Just like I promised. Later, Gaius. You need to rest. Yeah, I want to walk around for a bit. Get my bearings. Acclimatise. The sun's awfully bright. Gaius? <gasps> Gaius! Gaius! <sighs> it's okay, little boots. It's going to be okay. Little Boots, an audio drama in four parts, is written by Daniel Abbott. Drusilla was played by Jessica Gittins. Gamellus was played by Niall Morgan. Gaius was played by Mike Fish. Tiberius was played by Hugh Evans. Macro was played by Baniodis Vanezzi. Lucius was played by Roger Boyle. Enya was played by Paula Gallagher. Messalina was played by Georgia Sean Clark. Claudius was played by Ben Moore. Polybus was played by Patrick Young. And Quintus was played by Alex Dybell. This audio drama was produced by Blood, Sweat and Tea Productions in collaboration with Awaken Productions. And that's this week's show. Please check the show notes for links for Little Boots and Blood, Sweat and Tea Productions at sonicsociety.org. Please join us next week for more great audio drama from around the globe. Until then, I'm Jack Ward. And I'm David Alt. Have a lovely day. Bye now.
Sonic Society is written and produced weekly by Jack J. Ward and David Alt, with original music by Sharon B. at SharonB.com. All features, interviews, and audio drama shorts are owned completely by their originators and provided to the Sonic Society by Creative Commons Licensing. The Society itself originates from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks for listening. This has been an Electric Vicuna production. And that's this week's show. Please check the show notes for links for both shows, but there's only been one. Oh. No, 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 it's me. It's me. It's me going oh, yeah, I on. Say, and I, I, don't, I don't see absolutely that. absolutely just going on <laughs> autopilot at this point. That's awesome. <laughs> There are a number of things that we can all do to help stop the spread of the coronavirus and protect ourselves and our families. One is simply to clean your hands often. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you've been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If you don't have access to soap and water, then make sure you use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. And finally, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. These are some simple things that we can all do to help protect ourselves and our families from the spread of coronavirus. Be well, everybody.